Taichi Consulting provides innovative business solutions that uh, help organisations achieve their business outcomes. We do that through implementation of change, through implementation of uh, technology solutions. So I think data is the currency in which all businesses trade now. And data privacy in particular is hugely important to our customers. And the values by which we uh, govern the company around uh, honesty, integrity, and pioneering spirit and innovation mean that the way that we deal with data is hugely important. It's really about management of data holistically within, our, within ourselves and for our customers. So we understand exactly how that's being used and how we can drive that data as an asset more effectively. They approached me to have a look at what they were doing in terms of the processing of personal data uh, in light of these new higher standards in terms of data protection, privacy and security brought about by the General Data Protection Regulation. Whilst we were working through the necessary changes or tweaks or tightening up of policies, processes and procedures, I had a conversation with a friend of mine who had actually sat on the committee for BS 10,012-2017. And um, she said to me that actually, I think this could be very useful in terms of what you're doing with some of your clients. And so I took a look at it and I, and I agreed. I, I felt it was a really good framework for organizations that are navigating their way through what is a highly complex piece of regulation, but it could really help them do that in a very focused way. Undergoing this GDPR, call it transformation program for about a year now. Uh, as part of that, we started looking around to see what sort of certification we could achieve to support GDPR and the 10,012 certification was one of those. And um, it really describes uh, through a number of um, would or should uh, type of statements, what uh, an embedded management system, in this case for personal information, would look like if it was running in your business. The next step was to then almost cross-check it against the systems we had in place. So then leveraging on the work we'd done, particularly with ISO 27001, and again, we had the ISO 27001 lead, uh, who's also our IT manager as part of the project team, and that was really helpful. At the same time then, what we needed to do was also use our GDPR expert to then try and check these standards against what we were doing from a GDPR perspective. Again, making sure that we were doing the right things. And the, the phase one audit, or the first stage audit, was a really good sense check to make sure that we had done those things correctly. So the first thing it does is it, it absolutely delivers a message internally that we're doing things in accordance with the highest standards. When we flip it over and see what the impact is for, for clients, that gives them some sense of confidence that the organisation they're dealing with, whether they're dealing with that organisation um, as a customer, whether they're dealing with that organisation as a data processor, and in some cases an organisation will be both a data controller and a data processor, it gives them a great deal of confidence that actually they're doing things in accordance with these higher standards. And actually, from a reputation point of view, that's really important, given that there's a big issue right now in relation to trust. And I suppose what this standard does, it speaks directly to the need to build deeper digital trust in order to do more and not less with personal data. We're immensely proud to achieve the uh, BS 10,012 certification and to be one of the first uh, companies since it was um, published to achieve this standard. Having that independent validation that we're on the right track was really helpful for us. Um, and I think it also has helped really galvanise uh, interest across our business because it's something that people can readily identify with. It's all about uh, continuous improvement and learning and development and further embedding the policies and processes within the business um, so that it future proofs resilience um, and ensures that data privacy remains um, at the core of what we do. As part of the BSI standard, there will be ongoing maintenance of, of the uh, certification so we will be regularly um, assessed to make sure that we are continuing to adopt best practice standards so by maintaining that standard going forward it will continue to demonstrate our commitment to data privacy and that uh, that attention is not dropping off once we've achieved the standard that's not the end of the story it's just the beginning.